So Washington state, it is that second largest wine region. And what's interesting is that they cultivate over 80 grape varieties. That's a bit unusual for a wine region, right? To have that many grape varieties. Usually when people think of, you know, Burgundy, Bordeaux, high quality regions, even here in Napa, yes, we have a lot of experimentation. People are planting a few rows of things, but we're not really seeing the scale that they have in Washington state. So one of the defining features of Washington is kind of a pioneering attitude that has been maintained since its infancy as a wine producing region since the 1800s, um, and just kind of uh, experimentation. People are really interested in seeing what the land can provide them and a lot of exploration in which grape varieties fit with their terroir. Do you guys think Washington and terroir go together the way that we think maybe Burgundy and terroir go together? Right. Yeah. Yes. So um, we may not know much about it as consumers, but the people that are making the wines there are really dedicated to finding out what their vineyards are like down to the deepest level that they can go in the soil. What is its geological history? Which grapes really fit with that? What's interesting about Washington is there's quite a diversity of climate, geography, geology, topography, a lot of different aspects and slopes that people can experiment with, a lot of different soils. And so there's lots of opportunity to pick grape varieties, see how they do, and then, you know, really cultivate your vineyards. All right. So they do have about 240,000 um, tons harvested each year. Most of it is red, but there is quite a bit of white that is also harvested. But take a look at that list of grape varieties. Maybe think about where else in the world that you see those. Mm -hmm. So we do have a lot of French varieties. We've got Cab Franc, Malbec, Grenache, Petit Bordeaux, Pinot, Mouved, Sangiovese is in there. It's an interesting one, right? And then it, look at our whites, very interesting. We've got Sauvignon Blanc, Pinot Gris, Chenin, Semillon, Viognier, Gewurztraminer. As far as an identity goes, this kind of looks like a bit of an identity crisis, doesn't it? If you, if you think about the regions where these grape varieties are known to make high quality wines, we're in quite a few different places with a lot of different terroirs, climates, winemaking attitudes. We got Burgundy, we got Alsace, Rhone. Mm -hmm. how, how big is the state of Washington as compared to like France or Spain or like the state itself? Just uh, you know, I'm not sure of exact size compared to other other places, but it's quite a large state. Um, I think I've heard that Eastern Washington is comparatively about a third the size of France. Okay, but yeah, so this is a pretty small area for the, okay. For the diversity, yes, a small area for the diversity. 